Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update on this Friday here. The latest uh, trends and data that I'm seeing, this merger that's happening with these two pieces of energy, 1223, 1224, looks about the same as it did yesterday. Um, weaker than it did a few days ago. It's going to be moving very quickly through Wyoming and Colorado. So just light snow in my forecast for the Wasatch, light accumulations in the Tetons as well. The heavier pockets, moderate to heavy, will be in southern Wyoming and in parts of Colorado. Then looking down the road, California will get hit with probably two different storm systems between 1227 and 1230. That final one will break loose and it might move through the interior states, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, around New Year's Eve with some light snow accumulations. So all of that is on the horizon. Let me show you the, um, this is the water vapor satellite imagery. So again, on this, your oranges and the red colors represent drier air aloft. All right, here's piece number one, the southern track low. We'll move into that direction towards New Mexico in the four corners. This low pressure hitting the Pacific Northwest will come down through the interior and then eventually end up right there between Wyoming and Colorado, and that's where that merger is going to take place. But again, it happens later, so it kind of misses the Wasatch, and it's weaker. So again, there's just not as much energy and not enough turning of the winds and cold air to really generate a lot of snow. Here's the forecast. You know what? Let me show you the other low. This is the other low that's going to move into the Pacific Northwest and B.C. with heavy precip. That'll lay the groundwork for that rich flow. 1227 to uh, 1230. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. You've got your southern track low and you've got your northern energy coming in. Here's the meeting, or at least what looked to be the meeting a couple of days ago. There, there's still that gap in between and that's right over the Wasatch, unfortunately. But that's 1223 in the morning, so that's tomorrow morning. Here's tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and again, the, the two are, are getting close. We're not quite there yet. Uh, but by 4 p.m., some light snows, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado. The western slope in southwest Colorado could see several inches of accumulation. Here's the true merger by Saturday, or by late Saturday and the Sunday morning. And again, we're not, I mean, the shield of snow is, is we're not talking heavy snow here. You can see it does extend back with a little bit of that curvature uh, over the top of Colorado as well. Here's Sunday afternoon. Really, it's already, the low's already moving away and then clearing skies on Christmas Day right here. So it's long gone. I mean, that's how fast it's moving. And the next low is already hitting the Pacific Northwest in BC. By the time we get into 27, 28, there comes that larger feed of moisture all the way from BC to Oregon to Washington State and to California and the Sierra. So that's that wave that will eventually come up over the top and we'll get a piece of that for, it looks potentially like New Year's Eve that'll roll through the, uh, roll through the interior states. As far as the jet pattern goes, so this is 1224 late in the day. Um, again, not as pronounced, the trough sitting over Wyoming and Colorado is moving faster and it's almost gone by that point. Um, so here is 1231, a uh, nice looking jet stream here with waves of energy being escorted into the west coast. This is an active flow with potentially northern and southern branch support, so I like this. That's why I think that things are going to be a little more active by New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day into January if this pattern holds. As far as numbers, well, actually, you know what? Let me show you what uh, New Year's Eve looks like. So this is 1231 at 11 p.m. Uh, a storm system is sliding through Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Montana, and Colorado with some light snow accumulation. At least there's something here. This could set us up for some new powder for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day across the interior. All right, here is that forecast. So today through the 25th, Again, very light accumulations through the Tetons and the Wasatch, a little heavier in southern and southeastern Wyoming. Um, in Colorado, we're looking at probably 4 to 10 inches through, and, and the heaviest numbers are going to be across the western slope and through southwest Colorado, with less snow accumulation on the Continental Divide, and I'll zoom in. So again, there's Denver down. You're looking to the west-northwest through the foothills and then up over the Continental Divide. So there's a little bit of an upslope flow here that'll generate a swath of about six inches in the foothills, but then less as you make your way up to Loveland, a basins because of the, uh, the shallowness of that upslope. Um, a little bit less over Longs and uh, looking at probably three to six through Vail, Breck, Copper, up to Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. And, and not as much in Denver. I, I think we'll be lucky to get, you know, one or two inches through Denver and DIA. 
Okay, so let's go into the second period. This will take us into New Year's Eve, and you can see the effects of that storm system around 1231 with potentially one to three inches of accumulation through Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Utah, and Colorado. Um, the numbers have gone down a little bit for California just because now we're splitting up the precip with two different lows, and um, whenever you add another low, that initially pushes you into the warm sector before the before the cold air comes in. So we'll have to see what effect that ultimately has, but nonetheless, the flow is more active. Um, some decent snows for sure up in BC and Washington state. All right, looking at the Northeast. Um, so the numbers here, again, there is a storm system uh, late in the period, 1227 through 1229. It's all rain initially, and then there'll be a changeover on the backside, and that's how we're gonna get some of this uh, snow accumulation through New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, it's going to do it for this uh, morning uh, mountain weather update on this Friday. I hope everybody has a great day here, and thanks for tuning in.